Now let's create our, a PHP class to handle our routing. We will go to the core. We have already a file here that's in me that we should work in and we will create a new router we start with php we did the controller the app the functions the model all of this file it's still empty and for that and for this core section we will set a namespace we will set a namespace called up dash routes dash core to know where we are and to include when we are in another section or anywhere we can use this namespace for calling the router so let's create a class class names called router that will help us to handle different HTTP requests such as get, post, and put, and delete the code operations. So let's go again to our file. Now we must be agreed that any class in our app will be in app slash core. So any core core here, any core file except the app.php because it's not a core file but it is initialized we'll have a namespace in the app slash core this namespace organize is is to organize our code better and avoid naming conflict with another class or function so if we have the same name anywhere it's not will be a conflict because we you, we use namespace to be sure that we don't have any problem so we defined a namespace called app slash core next we need to define some private properties to store our routes or for each http method we will so when i'm um, this is mean this is will be our get route or a post route or a put or a delete so when we want to open a page it is usually the gets the gets we, we get the page instead we, we want to insert onto our database we will use the post it is usually used in the forms and uh, the puts the same thing but it seems that the puts is properly for the change or the update of our database instead the delete is is clear we will delete some lines on some rows from our database so let's go again to our router and define four variables four properties and we will do them static and it will be the gut get routes it will be an array to receive all the routes another will be the post routes we will need also the puts and the delete routes so this array will hold the routes are registered using the get post or puts method that we will create so we will create four methods to register this route and fill these arrays so we need to define these methods they will allow us to add a new route so let's start for example for the get method okay we will make it public and static function function we will name it get and it will take two arguments the path that we will go or that we will the path and the handle so the idea of this method is if i i come from this path i will execute some functions so if we get from this path i will echo for example 44 page net found but if i go from here i should see 
a uh, hello welcome or something that a home page or something like that. so for that we add a get that hold a path and a handler the path is where i come the link that the request received and the handler is the function that we will go to and it will be usually a function or the or a method from a controller that's handled the route so okay what we need also we will add this we will add this argument to our array get routes and we will append those information the first information will be the path and the value will be the app url plus the path for the full name because the path is just like we say for example that will be the path an uh, error or 40 yeah it, there is an error uh, a semicolon here the path is this instead if you want all of this we have already registered this link or our config if you go to config app we have already the app url that is exactly the, f the first url for our application uh, we don't need this okay so the second thing is we will sort our handler and the same thing we will do it for the post and put and delete nothing will be different it will be four function one is for the post one is for the post another is for the puts and the last is for the delete delete and we will make post here puts and delete all right 